Newsweek was an extremely beloved brand. People across America had a deep relationship with it. And it was up to me and my leadership team to come up with a great strategy to take it to the next generation, right? I sat with the leadership team and made sure we had complete buy-in with them, right? They aligned with the strategy. That means we have to have a back and forth conversation, do a lot of negotiation, and agree this is the way we're going to go ahead. Once they were absolutely clear in what needs to be done, they were then able to go and have conversations with that teams who are the people who are actually executing these. And as you start executing, you've got to listen to feedback from the market, feedback from your employees who are on the front line, and make sure that comes back to the leadership team and to myself so that we can fine tune come up with enhancements or changes to our plans and then go back to execution, right? So that whole loop had to be done perfectly. So we, we had a situation where um, we had a quite an ambitious uh, goal for uh, driving our, our revenue. And traditionally, you know, we kind of had to increase our audience. We had to have our ad team work and so on. Historically, if we ran on KPIs, we would do these things individually. So the audience team would have that target Sales team would have that targets. The ad ops team would have that targets. But when we wrote an OKR, it said, OK, achieve this big objective. And we had a group meeting. How do we all align? And the audience team was actually about to go, on a, uh, go in a different direction. When the sales team came and said, well, actually, you know what? Don't do that. We are going to try and see if we can find a better way to monetize what you're doing. And they did not change. And you know what? The sales team succeeded. As a result, we were able to dramatically grow our revenue, right? Had we made that a siloed process, the audience team would have gone their way, changed their pivot, the sales team would have gone their way, and we would have missed a huge opportunity. Mm -hmm. and, and bullet point one reads, uh, Newsweek speaks to and listens to people across political and cultural spectrum, right? So we kind of wanted to be an inclusive publication uh, that encourages debate and discussion and if you did look at the video, uh, it, it said finding common ground, right? So we did not want to be a left publication or a right publication, a conservative or a liberal publication. We want to be a place that can find common ground, right? Where meaningful debates can happen, where people can come to, to understand difficult topics and see what is the common ground that unites Americans, right? Uh, for example, we, we have things like Newsweek Better, um, that really focuses on diversity, equity, and inclusion, right? How do we kind of embrace that? Uh, we have Newsweek Mightier, and then we have something called Climate Heroes, really recognizing people through that creative energy, that initiative and entrepreneurialism, making the world a better place, right? So rather than it just being um, a great idea, how do you build deeper content that gets that message across uh, advances a, a purpose and, and also aligns with different brands, right? So, so content uh, hubs are, are key pillars for our growth going forward. Can AI solve that? That means can things happen faster? If HR moves faster, can we hire people faster? Can we evolve faster? And likewise, what is the look uh, on, on variety of our admin roles? Forget the journalism, right? Even in that, every I personally think every workflow can be optimized using AI. But sometimes, you know, when you don't see where the change is happening, you miss the opportunity. So your leadership team, from what you're saying, looks like they are seeing an opportunity and they want to tap into that opportunity, right? Uh, there's no easy way to do this rather than having a lot of communication with the staff, right? The, you know, someone told me this. You can never be accused of over-communicating, right? So just communicate, over-communicate, and bring, uh, bring people along the journey.